while the best schools are here, best schools need money. What's good? <laughs> What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel guys. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure that you click the subscribe button and join the revolution. So you ask yourself, why am I holding some weird packets in my hand? Okay guys, so today I'm going to be trying some beef jerky okay so guys this is biltong okay this is this is biltong it's dried meat it's biltong beef jerky is biltong so um i love biltong and so i decided that i'm gonna try beef jerky and see what it's like this fit people on this packet so i really hope it's not healthy food like i hope it doesn't taste healthy or like low fat or you know all that kind of weird unnecessary stuff and i'm also going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in america so i'm going to try the original beef jerky right now all right that's this one and so we're going to start off with the positives right because you always got to be positive in life so what are some of the positives of living in america well i would say that for instance there are good schools here in america you have some of your top schools you have your harvard Yale, here, look, that looks different, huh? What type of meat is this? Oh, beef jerky, right? Bruh. Yeah. Like I said, your um, Yale, Princeton, Harvard, I don't know what else, but all those good schools are all here. Now let's try this out. It's good. It's got like this sweet taste to it, you know? Like, oh. Mmm. It's got a little smoky thing to it. I don't know how to describe food, but this is good. You know food is popping when you stop to read the ingredients at the back, bro. Mmm. So that was original and that was good. We're gonna try your beef teriyaki. The next point that I have is you really get to learn about different cultures, different people and you learn more about the country overall everyone that you speak to whether they're white or black or hispanic they're all from somewhere else the white people will tell you i'm from europe i'm from wherever the black people are from all over the hispanic people are from all over so you get to learn about so many different kinds of people their culture their practices and they like wow america has, there's so much mix in american homes and families like you'll find that you'll have like a Hispanic mom married to a Jamaican man and then they have this child this child goes to marry a European and you know what I mean like America is honestly just a whole lot of mixed breed hey guys another thing that's really great about America is that you really get to be yourself here whoever you want to be you get to be that person America is very very open as soon as I came here I got like a whole lecture on um, with, if you see a female looking person don't call me a she you need to ask them what are your pronouns you know in america you get to change your gender you get to plastic surgery you get to be homosexual you get anything you want to be it flies in america being from an african country it's a more conservative country you know where you still get like judged mocked and even burnt in some places for being gay don't even mention transgender um there's no such thing as what are your pronouns it's either you're a man or a woman and there's no in between and nothing else is accepted so in america like honestly anything you want to be you get to be that person you get to be who you want to be you get to live free and even if your family won't accept you or a community you will find a community that will accept you so that's really nice about america is you get to be who you want to be live how you want to live and live out in public you know so um that's very nice and the last thing is you have tons of opportunity in america all these opportunities you get to make use of and apply and everything that you can use to take you to a different place like i have a high chance here of meeting someone who is someone who will lead me to be somebody you know what i mean as opposed to an essay where you really don't get essay being south africa by the way where you really don't get 
that much opportunity and stuff and here you are directly connected to the world america's where things happen america's where things start you know the trend that 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 african countries follow or that other uh country, countries follow this is where it starts this is where it happens and you get to be a part of that you get to experience it you get to live it you get to be it you know so um that's what's really cool about america so those are the pros of living in america and i'm gonna try this now the teriyaki beef jerky and here <clears throat> Not too much. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Tastes all good. It's like the other one was already sweet. This one they tried to make like I don't know sweeter or something. Mm. Mm. It's good. It's fine, but it was unnecessary. It didn't need to happen. They were bored. They were like add a bit more sugar, salt, spice, but not everything nice. So, you know, instead of having the Powerpuff Girls, you have the Rowdy Rough Boys. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Anyway, guys, I'm going to open the snack sticks now. So, beef teriyaki is not for me. But honestly, though, the beef, the, the normal beef jerky was really good. And now, we're moving over to the cons of living in... <clears throat> the cons of living in America. A big con of living in America as... Okay. I'm from South Africa and we have white people. Sounds weird, but yeah, we have white people. So for me, I've always grown up with a sense of I'm black, they're white, we have race, you know what I mean? But moving to America as someone from a different African country where they don't have white people so much, you go from being African to being black. You were never black. You were just African and at most maybe you had a tribe and you belong to your tribe. But when you move to America, suddenly you become a black man, a black woman. And now you have to pick up on that identity and everything that it comes with, you know, all the, whether you want to call it pain or, or suffering or the joys and the, the, the pros of being black. But suddenly you become a black person. But we're going to try the... The snack sticks, this is pork. Natural pork with natural smoke. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's like a pork sausage that they dried and smoked and it just didn't need to happen. They didn't do anything extraordinary to it. it didn't put a little bit spice. It didn't va va voom. It's something that if you cooked a pork sausage and you left it out, you would throw it away. You would not eat it. This is them giving it back to you to eat. Mm. It's a no from me. Nope. Now we're gonna try this last thing. It's called the Slim Jim. It's also a sausage, but is this what the smoke snack stick? Yeah, this is oh, this is every what? Make what? So while I open this, we're gonna talk about the next con about living in America, and that is a newfound fear for your life. Alright, so now again, I'm from South Africa, and people think of Africa and they're like, oh my gosh, Africa, like you know, they think it's risky, they think we're in the wild, we're running around with animals or whatever but anyway while my country is relatively <laughs> unsafe or not even unsafe we have our crime as does every country i have never had to think about my life or the, my life being in danger until i moved to america what do i mean by that america has so many shootings guys it's ridiculous and it's not all the time that you'll read about it in the news you know just in my school one of the ladies here she was shot by her son and he shot her and the sister you know and she worked at my school you know there was a shooting not far from here there was another shooting in a church not far from here there was a suicide bombing not far from here so suddenly moving to america comes with a newfound fear for your life you know i was at church the other day and I actually zoned out and I was like, but what if someone actually comes in here and shoots? Because that's exactly what happened in all the other cases, you know? I went out with my friends and it was a similar setting to Thousand Oaks. And I zoned out again and I was like, what if someone just comes in here and shoots? And these are things that you actually worry about living in America because it just happens. The difference, right? 
is that in South Africa, I feel at risk for my life when I'm in a dangerous area. All right, there's a certain area that I go to and I know, oh, okay, wait, I'm unsafe here. Or, uh, for instance, hijackings. If you're in a particular car and those cars are being hijacked at that time, then you know that you carry a certain risk. But in America, it's not under a specific setting. It's simply anywhere. Like anywhere you are, there could be a mall bombing. There could be a, not can I have bombing, but I don't know, maybe, but you know, there could be a mall. The thing is in America, the risk is everywhere. It's not just in a particular place. Everywhere you are, you stand a chance of being shot or anything. The next con of living in America is that, whoa, child, healthcare and education is expensive. It is overly expensive. A lot of Americans have to get student loans to get an education, especially a college education. A lot of people are drowning in debt because they cannot afford a college education. Honestly, being in America, it's cheaper to die than to get healthcare because healthcare is expensive. People get into debt because of healthcare and education. And while the best schools are here, their schools need money a lot of money and that makes it hard as a person who's not american to come study in an american school because you know exchange rate doesn't make things better it's expensive for americans it's doubly expensive for a non-american especially with the exchange rate and how strong the american dollar is as someone and and in that same energy of being a non-american or oh, not from the country you never feel at home you make friends, you get to love people, you get to, you know what I mean? You build a family here, but you never feel at home, you know, because it's just not your people. It's not your country. You know, they don't speak your language. They don't do things the way you do things. They don't pronounce things the way you do. The people that I can relate to are, you know, the non-Americans. Um, yeah, you never really feel at home because your family isn't here, you know what I mean? And it sucks because you get to really love your friends. You get to love the people you're around and then you have to go home, maybe. Depending on if you're going to go back to your country. And it sucks. Imagine loving people so much, being with them every day, and then one day just being like, all right, I'm going back to my country, guys, bye. And that's it. Like, that sucks, bro. It also keeps you from, you know, falling in love as well because you're just like, at the back of your mind, you know that you can't have your fairy tale being in love thing at college because you know that oh well i gotta go back to my country so screw me right i'm gonna try the snack stick now what is that no guys also on the list of things that didn't need to happen mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. that's it for today guys i hope you like this video this stuff is still in my tongue mm. i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe good news comment down below and if you want me to talk more about my experience of living in america comment down below peace and love guys